Bubam, what's going on? Squale 1545 ALP Atmos GMT Golf Watch in the house. Check it out. If you look back in the videos, you'll see the golfing and watches and golf watch episode. My very good friend Dano, uh, we had a blast that day. And it wasn't until later that night, actually, that I began hunting for a golf watch. Found a handful of them, uh, put them on as a bookend to that episode and then immediately started hunting this watch, the Squale 1545. Somewhat comically, uh, my gosh, not only is this watch absolutely perfect for golf, and we're gonna, we're gonna forget for a moment the advice that you shouldn't wear an automatic mechanical watch when you golf due to the physics of the arm swinging. And if anyone is going to be subject to more of a problem with that, it's going to me because I, I'm swinging that club more, <laughs> more often than most other golfers, right? So let's forego that uh, for the moment. This watch, first of all, is a great watch, uh, but it, it looks the part green far more subtle the green is far more subtle in person the uh the bezel is a slightly different shade and it's uh, ceramic whereas the uh the face the dial itself is sunburst pretty gorgeous but all the other features scream golf course whether it's the hour and minute hands looking like that stick marker at 150 yards in the fairway the gmt hand reminiscent of the flag on the green or the round indices round indices more or less filling in for golf balls it, it, it looks the business plus 300 meters water resistance it's basically a dive watch effectively but there are two <laughs> two negative qualities about this watch we're going to dispense with them immediately because they're not terribly major the first is lug width 21 meters uh, meters <laughs> yeah, it's, it's King Kong's watch 21 millimeters uh, gosh I bought a handful of archer straps I bought it on bracelet full kit and I picked up some straps to try and wanted to go silicon because you know lighter than the bracelet even though this is probably gonna live on bracelet and or a brown, dark brown leather strap, as soon as I can find one uh, in 21 millis. But wanted to get some silicon straps for use when we actually go golfing. And the nice thing about these Archer straps is they've got those uh, quick release spring bars. So get a handful of them. Uh, I chose the sand colored one for mine today because I live in the sand trap. I love the beach. But the other minor uh, negative about the watch, which I've more or less solved, the bezel is, has got it's, it operates like a dive bezel, unidirectional. It only rotates counterclockwise, and I don't understand why. It's a, clearly a GMT bezel. Uh, but I wrote to Nomon Watches and asked them, and they're like, yeah, these the 42 inch uh, Squales do not come with bi-directional. So I've solved it, why? Because I want this bezel to function as my uh, stroke counter in between the T and the green. Because for some reason I can't keep track. And so what I'll do is I'll just record two holes on the bezel before cycling it around. What does that mean? Uh, zero to 12, probably, uh, will be the first hole. I'll record the score. And then when I get to the next hole, I'll, I'm sorry, zero to 11, hopefully far less. That last round of golf was really bad. We're going back to beat the snowman, uh, I'm pretty certain, on our next round. 
So I'll only have to advance it a couple more clicks to get to marker 11, which will be my drive. And then I'll cycle that around on the second hole. So I'm not twisting this thing all day long. So once I've scored two holes, I'll bring the triangle back to the 12 o'clock position and I'm ready for score uh, for scoring hole number three. That way you're not rotating it, rotating it, rotating it. Not that it would wear out. I mean, eventually. <laughs> I golf twice a year. Uh, but what I was going to mention earlier, the funniest thing, this is clearly a channel watch. Uh, the color scheme is hilariously right in line with my logo. <laughs> the Mustang, it fits as a Mustang watch, the color scheme, which I know is kind of coony, but I see it as value add. And I hadn't had a Squale in the collection in a long time. Wears really well. I think it's a 42 plus. I'm gonna, uh, you know, I'll pop up uh, the dimensions. I think it's 42 and a half. This watch come in running perfect. Better than Cosk. Better than Cosk. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And the amplitude, the one thing I can't change, 300. 300 ish somewhere in there anything better than ideal state is 270 and uh, if you don't want it too high but I was astonished at how well this watch is running just it floored me I was so impressed uh, she wears well she looks gorgeous the funny thing is this watch reminds me an awful lot of my Christopher Ward GMT and when I get back to the studio, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side with those. Uh, a lot of overlap, but a lot of differences too. That Christopher Ward GMT has my favorite bezel, which is the first quarter of it from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock is incremented for a diver uh, countdown. But then the rest of the bezel is GMT. And as you know, I advocate for every dive watch to be a GMT. And both of these watches are rated to be dive watches. Both of them are, this one's 300 meters. I don't remember if that one was 600 meters or 300, it's one or the other. That's a fabulous watch. Although I've got that in the 38, I used to have it in the 43. Then I sold it, felt it was too big, but now I'm hunting for it again, get it back into the collection to do a side by side. Cause it's, it's on the fence. The 38 seems a little bit smallish and thick. Whereas the 43 just seemed a little bit too large for me and maybe I wasn't wearing the watch I should be wearing based on my size. In fact, uh, let, let's go to the studio and uh, let's do the side by side right now. All right, let us get up in your business, Squally and Christopher Ward. On the left, here we have that beautiful Squally ALP GMT, that green. Gosh, catching some harsh reflections today, but that little sunburst is gorgeous and then over here on the right Christopher Ward GMT in the 38 millimeters I will drop in the measurement and specs uh, this isn't really a fair compare in that this is a 38 over here this is the 42 ish over here I am still hunting this in 43 because uh, as I mentioned I'm not sure which one it is that fits me best but both of these are excellent and pretty comparable uh, they're both using Eta movements and have the similar, actually in this light, it almost looks like the dial of the Squally is black, like the Christopher Ward. It is not, let's see if we can play with this and get some of that light to hit off of it without, oh, there we go, look at that. Beautiful green reflection on that. I actually have this on a, St <laughs> a Steinhardt strap. I love Steinhardt straps. I don't know where they get their leather from, but absolutely adore them. And this does wear well on me considering how big it is uh, generally. Now this Christopher Ward is a darling of a watch, little GMT. Uh, I'm in love with it. it. That is my favorite bezel. It functions as a dive bezel. It is unidirectional, but this first 15, you know, being made for a diver. I don't know what you think, too small for me? It looks a little small, but it wears a bit thick if you look at the long lead. I don't know. I, I love it though. I absolutely love it. 
You can't go wrong with either of these. This one is a 600 meters water resistance. Let's get them both on the wrist side by side style. See if I can get them to hold still for us. My wrist, six and a half inches. At least the, <laughs> the left one is. Right one, six and three quarters. I am abnormal. Uh, yeah, you can't go wrong with either of these. Both of them suitable for GMT, both of them suitable for diving. Mustang and hobby of ours approved. And that's what's up. A pair of super cool green GMTs, both Mustang approved. Uh, this one, of course, Golf approved. And uh, there was another GMT that was in the running for this, the Steinhardt Melon. And I ultimately didn't go with it. I found that that green was a little too much towards yellow for me and the, the all white uh, face. I don't know, it was a little bit too quirky. And in truth, this isn't going to be a golf only watch. This is just a great all around watch when I'm rocking green. And the sand trap strap does match my golf outfit. <laughs> so I figure on wearing this one. And uh, let's keep having fun in this wonderful hobby of ours. All right, have yourself a great one, and we will catch you in the next one. Take care. Peace.